inspired. Be innovative. Be creative. Be a nation's builder. Watch Zoe TV and the Wood Magician now. Greetings to the world. Greetings to Mother Africa. Greetings to all my fans. Greetings to everybody. Thank you very much for watching Zo TV and the Wood Magician. It's been a great time sharing my story with the world. My story of innovation, creativity, and all other stuff that comes with it. Yes, I'm here today again to share a new story with you. But if you have been watching from so somewhere else, if you have been watching from Brazil or been watching from Kenya or you've been watching from Jamaica or wherever you are, please sell the story to the people and tell them that there is this guy somewhere in Ghana who is trying to inspire and to teach the world. So if you haven't subscribed yet, you can still subscribe, like, comment and share. The greatest moment of my life is actually the time in which we are now. But since I have been creating things, this has been the most fun, the most fun for me for creating things. The reason why this is the most fun is because this is something that I never thought that I could do. But I knew very well that, you know, if I want to start, it's going to be hard to start. But that challenging thought too was very comforting for my soul to know that I'm going to be starting a new project that I don't even know how to start. So I say it is fun um, because when the thoughts are challenging, then it gives you more creative juices. Now, a wooden car. Why do you want to build a wooden car? How many wooden cars have you seen around the world? You haven't seen many. Right in there, right in there, right in there. Yeah, you know, just keep looking at that picture. Look at it for a while and tell me, who do you see in there? Yeah, there is a popular dancehall musician around the world who is sitting right in the wooden car. Great. I have been creating things and creating things and creating things. You know, we've made the ark. Yes, then we did the food truck. We did the wine barrel. All these sound to be a bit complicated when you want to start it. And you ask yourself, will you be able to do it? But it seems to me that once you pass one stage, the next stage becomes easier. Once you pass the second stage, the third stage becomes easier. And that is the spirit of creativity. It comes with consistency and practice, a lot of research work, to be able to hit the highest button. Subscribe, like, comment, and share.
what has happened is we finished the battle and then we had to jump on the car. But we don't have the cameraman 24-7 on site. So we lost some of the pieces of how the car was started. But what we lost is not much. We still leave you to your imagination how it started because in the middle passage, you'll be able to put the jigsaw puzzle together. You know, you create the fenders for the tires. subscribe, like, comment, and share. <laughs> the wine barrel took us about six weeks and i thought that the car was just gonna take so much time but the most wonderful thing is it took only about two weeks to actually put the wood car together
the story of bending wood, putting wood into a round form came into a play again because we want to be able to get the story right. Now look at the video, look at the photos. You see me looking at them. And anytime I'm looking at it, I am asking myself if I can achieve the results. You know, I don't like to make mistakes and I don't like not to get it right. subscribe, like, comment, and share. Lifestyle creations, raw natural instinct is in play. How I feel is what I do. It's not only about what you tell me, but it's about how I feel. And I put it into play. It's always um, a challenging moment for my workers. A challenging moment for my workers is they really don't know what is in my head and they don't, they don't know what I'm bringing out every day. So uh, I feel for them because here in and there I come with a crazy concept and I said we are going to build this. And they look at my face like, but again, we're going to build what? Anyway, by the time we finish the concept, they are always happy. The greatest story is, you know, all the things that we are doing, we are using waste wood. Just remember that we are using waste wood. Wood that has ended up at the shores. You know, pallets are shipping materials that end up at the shores. So, um, majority of all my wood that I'm using to do this particular project, they are all waste wood. <laughs> The DJ will jump, other people will jump, but when the DJ jumps, can the car sustain it? That is one of the questions somebody hiding in his house will probably ask. Yes, you know, uh, that is why I said that, you know, we're building the chases for the car. The chases must have 
certain stability and durability. So uh, it's not something that you're just going to sit in it. Even though it's not a car that is going to be cruising on the road, it's a car that is solid enough, comfortable enough for the DJ to do his work in it. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. Uh -huh. The latest model of a car called Freedom. And that car is supposed to be a DJ booth. We are taking the creativity to the highest level. As Africans, this is what we need to be doing in the 21st, 22nd century. Building things. I call it techno revolution, industrial revolution. Boom! Lifestyle creation 050 The finishing part is always the hard part for us. And I say us because I have to really talk to my workers to see the detailing very well before they can make it happen. Their eyes are already satisfied by seeing four wheels under the car already. They think the car has been done. But my eyes go beyond that. To make any art piece beautiful, your eyes must go far. You can't remain in normality. Normality does not sell. Abnormality sells. The electrician and the guy who will do the auto electronics. Remember that even though this particular piece is going to be used as a DJ boot, we want to still create a sense of feeling to the public that it is a real car that the DJ is sitting in. So every element that is on a car is also replicated on this wooden car over here. And they have to be functional. So the headlight works, the brake light works, the horn works. Anything that you can think about, you know, that is the basic necessity needs to be on a car. It's also on the wooden car. It's wood art, it's woodcraft, it's wood technology. If you're out there and you feel like you want to learn something, yes, apprenticeship is open. It's open to the world. Yeah, the front is only the view. The serious. Like 
You know, when you embark on a project like this, it impacts your life. It changes certain things about the way you think about things, the, the way you reason. One of the things that creating this car has given me is to be able to tell the world that we, Lifestyle Creation, are actually ready to do what I call old car restoration. So if you have an old car out there, a car that you don't want anymore, a car that has been sitting in your garage, for years and years and years it doesn't matter how old the car is you can call on us and say come for the car and what we will do is we then gonna be putting a magic into that car we will change the car into a wooden car that can be driven on our roads so this is the story i want to share with the world if you have it please call me i'll come and get it and it will be the next big show in Ghana. Subscribe, like, comment, and share.